Hi there. Now in the previous part of this question, we were asked to show that sine 5 theta was the same as 16 sine to the power 5 theta minus 20 sine cubed theta plus 5 sine theta. Now for this part, we're also given that sine 3 theta is essentially identical to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta. And what we've got to do is find all the solutions of sine 5 theta equaling 5 sine 3 theta in the interval theta greater than or equal to 0 radians but less than 2 pi radians. And give our answers to three decimal places. So if you'd like to try this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So first of all, let's just copy down the equation that we're given. That is sine of 5 theta is equal to 5 sine 3 theta. And then we're just going to take the identities that we've built up for each of these and equate them. So for sine 5 theta, we've got this one up here. So that is 16 sine to the power 5 of theta minus 20 sine cubed theta plus 5 sine theta. Now that's going to be equal to 5 sine 3 theta. So that's going to be 5 times this part here. So if I just multiply each of these two terms by 5, we're going to get 15 sine theta then. Okay, and then 5 times minus 4 sine cubed theta is going to be minus 20 sine cubed theta. So I just need to make this equal to 0 and group up my terms. So doing that, we're going to end up with 16 sine to the power 5 theta. Looking at the sine cubed terms, they cancel out, OK? And then we've just got to take 15 sine theta from both sides, and that's going to leave me with minus 10 sine theta, and that equals 0. So to solve this now, I notice that sine theta, well, in fact, 2 sine theta is a common factor. So we'll pull out 2 sine theta as a common factor. And then we've got 8 sine to the power 4 of theta, and then minus 5. And that equals 0. So therefore, each of these factors could equal 0. The sine theta, that could equal 0. Or for this factor, if we make that equal to 0, sine to the 4 theta would equal 5 eighths. Sine theta would equal the fourth root of 5 eighths. Don't forget though, it will be plus or minus because it's an even powered root. Okay, so we've got the fourth root then of 5 eighths. So let's have a look at when sine theta equals zero. So when sine theta equals zero, this is a nice easy one, therefore theta must be equal to 0 or pi radians. Now let's look at the other result. That is when sine theta equals plus or minus the fourth root of 5 eighths. If we take the inverse sine of both sides, we end up with theta equaling the inverse sine of plus or minus the fourth root then of 5 eighths. Now if I was to draw a quadrant diagram for this, then we've got that as 0 radians. This would be pi upon 2 radians, pi radians, 3 pi upon 2 radians, and so on. If I take where sine is positive, it's going to be in the first quadrant and the second quadrant these angles being exactly the same. But then if sine theta is negative, then we're going to get answers in these two quadrants. 
and again these two angles would be the same and they'll be the same as these angles up here. Now the solutions that we want for theta would be for instance this one okay we'd also want starting from here round to this one here and then we're going to have this one round to this line here and finally the last one would take us all the way round to this one here. All possible values of theta. So when I take the inverse sine of the fourth root of five eighths, the positive value, the answer I get back is that theta equals 1.0954 and so on radians. So that's going to be one of these angles here marked blue and that would correspond actually to the first angle in the first quadrant. But from there we can work out this one that's going to be pi radians minus this angle here. So that's going to be 2.0461 and then by the symmetries we can do pi radians plus 1.0954 that gives us another solution 4.2370 and so on. And then lastly, 2 pi radians minus 1.0954 radians gives us another solution, which turns out to be 5.1877 and so on. Now we had to give our answers to three decimal places. So if we do that, therefore theta will equal 1.095 radians, 2.046 radians, 4.237 radians and finally 5.188 radians all given to three decimal places. So in fact then we've got all these solutions here and don't forget we've got these two solutions there.